Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra 5G. Now you can pick this one up online starting June 21st. The price on this one starts at 800 bucks. I repeat, 800 bucks. Now on a side note, if you pre-order now for $2, you save 50 bucks, dropping the price down to 750 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in three different colors. You got black, gold, and silver. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1116 by 2480. And that's 400 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10+, up to 1500 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight or 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with my OS 12 skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 65 watt fast charging. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel periscope lens. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel lens under the display. I repeat, 16 megapixel lens under the display. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 750 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white Calm down. All right, here we go. ZTE Axon 40 Ultra 5G. Again, June 21st. If you pre-order now, you get 50 bucks off. So 750 bucks. Nice black box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Okay. So inside, this is going to be a device. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now check this out. Sim ejection tool. You get a case. Let's see, nice little gel skin case. Nothing too fancy. All right, shoes, you wanna inspect that? Okay, usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. Now, what is this? What could this be? Samsung, Apple, what could this be? Check this out. You get a dongle, all right? There's no headphone jack. That shit's whack, hashtag bars. But you do get a dongle. Now, I'm a big fan of putting the dongle back in the box because how many years has it been since you had a dongle? You probably can't find yours. Who want to keep buying these? Okay, throw it in the box. That's where it belongs. Okay. Oh, look at this. Now, this is one-stop shopping right here. All right, shoes. Is it, you want to see this? We got a set of headphones. Okay, now, nothing too fancy on these, but quality headphones with volume up and down and play and pause. Okay. Very apple looking. Okay. Now, headphone jack, but you got the dongle. Okay, 3.5. Use the dongle. And you got your 65 watt fast charging brick in the box. Samsung, Google, Apple, in the box where it belongs. Now, I know y'all tired of hearing me say that, but we got to keep saying that because if we don't, Samsung and Apple, they're going to think it's okay to not put the charge in the box. No, it's not okay. Okay, now for the device. Here it is. Now, let me peel this off. Get a little wipe down. Bung, here it is. Axon 40 Ultra. Now this is a big giant phone right here. Beautifully made, okay, under the display camera. Let's get him power this up. See if you got any juice. Okay, there it is, ZTE. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll set everything up, delete my browsing history, then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so before I go any further, let me announce this giveaway. Now, ZTE reached out to me and asked me, did I want to give my subscribers a chance to win three ZTE Axon 40 Ultras? And I said, of course. Now, I had to call Xi Ping on the low and ask him, is it okay? He gave me the green light. So this is it. I'm going to leave the link in the description. My advice is, if you like this phone, before you buy it, enter the giveaway. Enter from your regular account, log out, log into your troll account, enter from all your accounts, and get a chance to win one of these three Axon 40 Ultras. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let me talk about everything that I don't like. 
Number one, the price. 800 bucks, that's a little TGH. Now, if you don't know what that means, that's too goddamn high. Now, if you use the pre-order discount and get it for 750, that eases the pain a little bit. But in my opinion, I think this phone should have been 750 and with the pre-order discount, drop it down to 700 bucks. And the reason I say that is, this phone is missing a couple of features that a lot of other phones for the same price have. Number one, no IP rating. Okay, so the phone is not water resistant. Next, no IR blaster. Now you would expect that from Samsung phones, but most of these Chinese phones nowadays, they got IR blasters. They should have dropped one on this one. Next, no quad HD display. Now this is a nice one, it's 2K, but it's not quad HD. Next, no wireless charge. Now this is my biggest gripe, no wireless charge. You got phones like this that have wireless charge. Y'all see me do the blue phone for 250 bucks, wireless charge. I got wireless chargers strategically placed all over my house, in my car. I need wireless charge. Not to mention, no wireless charge means no reverse wireless charging. So if you're somebody like me that got a lot of Bluetooth earbuds and you like to charge them on the go, you can't do that with this phone. So no wireless charge, no reverse wireless charge. I don't like that. Now, no expandable memory, not the biggest deal in the world. But if you're not going to have expandable memory, you need to have a one terabyte version. And of course, lastly, no headphone jack. That's just whack. Hashtag bars. Now, what's the difference between last year's Axon 30 Ultra and the new Axon 40 Ultra? Well, the 40 is definitely an upgrade. It's a bigger phone. Okay, you got a bigger display, a better display. You got the under display camera and you got a bigger battery. Now, with the 30, you did have four cameras and a 144 hertz refresh rate, but you're not really gonna notice that. I would say the 40 is definitely a minor upgrade. Now the phone is definitely a little bit taller and a little bit wider. Okay, so it's gonna give you that Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangsta Alpha Omega Supreme kind of feel because it is big. It's almost the same exact size as Galactus. See, Galactus is a little bit wider. All right, that's one, one of the things I love about this phone, the width. All right. Now let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, the build quality. Now there's no IP rating, so it's not water resistant, but other than that, the back panel feels like silk. Okay, I love this feeling. This is my second favorite back panel, all right, besides number one, ceramic on the Oppo Fine. Number two, I like all of these matte finish ones and the silky ones. Then after that, the Vivo Fold with the vegan leather, then the old school shiny back glass. Okay, so I love this, no fingerprints, and again, it just feels silky, okay, extra silky. Now, a couple of different ways you can turn on the device. You got face unlock. Bong, look how fast that is. Now, I'm not going to look at it, okay? As soon as I look at it, bong. The face unlock does work. Super smooth. Now, you see how fast I got? Let me not look at it. Next, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. And lastly, you got an on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works, okay? It definitely works. Not the best in the world. Okay, it's definitely not Galactus status, but it works. Okay, it's not pixel status. Now, you got an always on display. Let me let that load up. Bang, there it is. Time, date, weather, battery percentage, and your notifications in full color. I like that. But that face unlock is crazy. All right, so let's go through the quick soggles real quick. The quick toggles. Okay, so let's see. You got your standard. You got DTSS sound. Okay, dual stereo speakers. You got screenshot, screen record, you got NFC. Okay, you got power saving mode, ultra power saving mode, screencast. Okay, and if you hit more, you got everything else. Okay, so your calculator, you got your, hold on a second, now it says me remote. Oh, okay, um, <laughs> I just trolled myself. Just to make sure that, it, that, that the same thing happened with the Vivo phones. Remember when I did the Vivo uh, IQ? I said no IR blaster, but it just didn't have the IR blaster quick toggle. So it kind of threw me off. So what I did was I downloaded Mi Remote and it works on the Vivo phone. So just to make sure that this one doesn't have an IR blaster, which it clearly doesn't, I downloaded Mi Remote, but I trolled myself. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway, let's keep it moving. All right, so let's go to settings real quick. Now I'll make this part quick. Let's go to connections. Of course, you got NFC, VPN, your private DNS for all your scumbag activities. Okay, now this is GSM only. Okay, so it's gonna work on, uh, it's gonna work on uh, T-Mobile, AT&T. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Nowadays, if you still got Sprint, I know you're holding on to that grandfather contract, but just move over to T-Mobile. 
All right, switch your SIM card out and enjoy the 5G service. If you get, if you still on Sprint, you probably don't got 5G. That's a little uh, inside a tip right there. Okay, let's go to personal settings. Now this is running my OS 12, which is basically stock Android, but it does have a nice clean UI. Okay, so if you want to, you can change your themes. You got all your different wallpapers. Okay, now I have a live wallpaper on right now. You can change your icons. You can change your lock screen settings. Okay, you can show the pedometer or pedometer. <laughs> Did y'all say pedometer or pedometer? I heard some people say pedometer. I say pedometer. I don't know. I'm old school. You got your ZTE locker. Okay, now if you turn that on, you cycle through the different wallpapers. You got different an animation speeds. So you can have it on soft, moderate, or brisk. Let's leave it on brisk. Why not? Okay, hit apply. There it is. Now, with Android 12, you can change all your color accents. Okay, you can change the width and the size of your icons. You can change your font. And, of course, your fingerprint animation. That's under personalized settings. Now, you got your home screen settings. Okay, nothing to really see there. You can change your lock screen layout. Display. Okay, now I got it on dark mode. You got read mode. You got night light. This is max brightness, all right? 1,500 nits, all right? Maximum nittage. Refresh rate, you can put it on auto if you want to save battery, 60 hertz or 120. Might as well leave it on 120. Okay, now you got your top area settings. Now this has the under display camera, but if you want to see a notch, you can have a line on the top or you can hide the status bar. Now you got an under display camera, you might as well hide it. I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Nothing to see there, notifications and status bar. Nothing to see there. You can, as a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's um add battery percentage. Okay. Pong just like that. Let's see, uh, battery percentage inside a battery. Okay, now, why do I have it on airplane mode? Okay, that's it for that. Let's see, um, top panel style, you can swipe down. Nothing to really see there. Okay, let's go to sound. Okay. Dual stereo speakers. Okay, notification volume, alarm volume. Okay, DTSX sound. Okay, leave that on. Okay, a uh, little battery reminder, that's pretty much it. Let's go to uh, sync mine. Okay, 5G connection, features. Okay, so system navigation, that's your three buttons or the swipe gestures. You got one hand mode, you got Z pop, you got screen record. Accidental missed touches because this does have a curved display. Now, y'all know I'm over curved displays and I like flat displays better, but at least you got the accidental touch protection. Okay, gestures in motion, double tap to awake the screen, three finger screenshots, raise to awake. Okay, auto answer, leave that off. Okay, for scumbag mode. You got pocket mode, pick up to lower the volume, uh, change to the earpiece, and shake for flashlight, of course. Let's make sure that works. Yeah, all right, shake for the flashlight. Shake it off. Now, pick up, the, shoot, that wasn't your cue. Now, raise to awake the phone. You need that if you want to go right to the face unlock animation like that. Okay, schedule power on and off. Accessibility, of course, if you're hearing or visually impaired, all the accessibility options on deck. Let's see anything else we need to see. Battery, again, you got power saving mode and ultra power saving mode. Okay. Let's see anything else. Uh, storage. Okay, now this is 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gig version, but you can get 12 gigs with 256 if you want. It's going to cost you a little bit more. Okay, users and accounts, digital well-being, monitor your scumbag activities, got your Google, your system update, and about phone. Okay, my OS, Axon 40, that's pretty much it. All right, now let's take a look at this under the display camera. Okay, now let me pull up something that has full screen. Let's go to let's go to Ring. I believe Ring has full screen. All right, there it is. Look at the top. No camera. Now you see, if I would if I would uh, had a little notch, it's not really a notch. It just makes everything black on the top, so you can see the notification a little bit better. But that's how it looks. Full screen. Nest has it also. You see, you can't see that camera under the display. That's pretty dope. Now, since it's running Android 12, you do have all your Android 12 widgets. So my favorite, the Gmail widget, the calendar. You got the big music widget. Okay. Let's try that again. You got the big music widget. Let's try that again. <laughs> all right, there it is. All right. And you control your music from that widget. You got your stopwatch. I got all my Google notes. Okay. Nice, clean UI. 
Now we're going to get into this debate again about um, my OS. Now you can have your Google feed on to the side if you want to actually turn that off. Let's go to effect. You can have different effects when you're popping up, when you're scrolling. I like that. Okay, home screen settings. Let's go to, let's go to loop screens. Okay, now this is one I like. Constant loop, that's why I turned off my Google feed to give you that constant loop. Now what I was about to say is, a lot of people go through this uh, stock OS versus my OS versus color OS versus one UI. I think my OS is very close to stock Android. Okay, no bloatware, everything is just nice and smooth. Okay, let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay. Now, this is the full website. Again, you can't see the camera on the top. Now, a lot of websites are going to black it out by default, but some websites don't. Okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. Excellent scrolling speeds. Let's do a little split screen multitasking. Let's do YouTube music on the bottom. Apple on the top. Okay, no issues with that at all. All right, so now let's test the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble, honey? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, hell The speakers actually sound pretty good. Nice and loud. Coming from the top and the bottom. Let's cover the bottom. That's all top. Definitely nice and clean. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, so do stereo speakers sound pretty good. All right, so now let's take a look at this big, beautiful 6.8 inch AMOLED display with no camera cutout. Full screen, look at that. This looks absolutely beautiful. You cannot see the camera cutout at all. Now the viewing angles, pretty good. Okay, 1500 nits brightness. Look at that. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Okay. Again, you cannot see the camera under the display. So beautiful. Okay, let's get it on. Okay. Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. Now this does have a new cooling system, so it shouldn't get as hot, but we'll see. Okay. Now, I don't game long enough to really test that out, but in my regular testing, hasn't been hot at all. Okay, look at that drip. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, let me get that ramp. Now watch this landing. Fine, you gotta hit the 360 on the landing, let's go. Okay, no lag at all. Okay. And of course, the first place victory. Okay, let me turn this off for a second. All right, so gaming on the Axon 40 Ultra is a go. No issues at all. No lag, no hiccups. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now we go through all of the different shooting modes. You got camera friendly, 
which has a bunch of different modes built into it. You got ID photo, panorama, zoom blur. You got freeze frame, phantom, vlog, Hitchcock, art camera, full size, document, multi-camera, which will let you use all three cameras at the same time. You got monocolor, black and white. You got star trail, starry sky, moon, electronic, light show, car trail, multi-exposure, slow motion, time-lapse, clone, trajectory, and macro. Now you got street mode, perfect for outdoors. You got pro mode, change your white balance, your shutter speed, your ISO. You got regular photos, wide angle with AI. Okay, you see it says animal on the top. All the way up to 40 times scumbag zoom. Now I'm gonna show y'all something in a minute. The zoom actually works. You got video, you can do wide angle, or you can uh, do force close. <laughs> <laughs> and from your video, your resolutions, you got 8K, okay? You can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, all the way down to 720. You got night mode, and you got portrait mode. Now, from your portrait mode, you can change your lighting, your aperture, okay? And all your different effects. Now, here's one thing I wanted to show you about the Scumbag Zoom. Let me go to gallery real quick. All right, so here's how I test to see if the Scumbag Zoom is actually a gimmick, or does it really work? I'm all the way down the block taking a picture of the school. Now I wanna read the sign that's on that school. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, zoom in some more, zoom in some more, and bang, there's the sign. You can actually read the words. So the zoom actually does work. Now there's one downside to this camera. I would say the front facing camera, not the best in the world. Now I'm gonna post this picture also. It uses artificial intelligence so it's gonna make you get that beauty filter look, which my old ass is kind of actually um, <laughs> a plus. But again, it just gives you that beauty look. I'll post these pictures. You can check them out for yourself right now.
All right, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 750 bucks on the phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now there's no wireless charge, so when you go to sleep, you're gonna have your phone in the charger, but you do have always on display. So without even picking it up, I can see the time, the date, and my battery percentage, and my notifications. Now when you're ready to wake up, you still don't gotta press anything, just lift up the phone, look at it, bong, opens up just like that. Excellent face unlock. First thing I like to do is check the weather. Okay, 78 degrees. It's getting hot out there. All right, we're getting ready to be outside. Okay, so it looks like a nice day in New York City. Next, let's do a little work. All right, so I'll take it to Gmail. Okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. Excellent scrolling speeds. One thing that I do love about this phone, it feels like the Google Pixel in terms of the display and the typing. I love it. Let's see, uh, no thanks. That's my usual response. Okay, bong, send that off. Okay, so that's my work segment of the day. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, let's go to my mentions, see if anybody's talking about me. Okay, let's get a refresh. Let's see, Mr. Mobile, I wish you who's your favorite tech YouTuber, Mr. Mobile and Flossie Carter. I right, shout out to my man, Mr. Mobile, all right? Captain, remember old kill school Captain Two Phones? It's my guy right there. Right, let me get it like that. I like that. Let's see, um, okay. <laughs> oh, look, somebody trying to roast. Uh, somebody trying to roast. Come on, bro. Come on. Every black guy that wears gold chains ain't me. All right, get out of here, man. Corny shit. Let's go to um Android. Let's see. Android's me this year. Upgraded to iPhone 13. Okay. We'll read that later. Let's get in like that though. Bong, there it is. Okay, let's see. Um I right, see now look, this this shit this shit kind of bothered me, yo. This shit kind of bothered me. I had to go back to this one, yo. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I gotta go back to this one. Eat a dick. You know, that, that kind of messed up my flow, yo. You know what I'm saying? I, I, could, I can't let that one ride, yo. All right, let's keep it moving. <laughs> I know, I'm so petty. I'm so petty. Let's see. Um, Face ID in iOS 16. Somebody finally listened to you. Well, you see what I'm saying? This is why you got to keep calling these companies out because eventually they will listen. They will listen. Okay, thought protection. Somebody got the thought protection. Let's see what their original tweet was. Oh, a new iOS to unsend messages. That's a nice little feature. All right, that's a nice little feature. You get home from the club, four o'clock in the morning, and you send the, the what you doing text. Now you can wake up in the morning and delete that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just gotta do it quick though. All right, anyways, so this is how your tweet's gonna look. Okay, again, 120 hertz refresh rate, beautiful scrolling speeds. Exit out of that, bang. All right, so next, let's take it over to Facebook. See what's going down in the book. Okay. I look my, my my little man right here. Gonna look like going to the prom. Okay, going to the prom. Okay, look, Flossie, it's almost your birthday. It's almost my birthday. The countdown is on. Okay, okay, this is a family show. What are you doing? All right, let's let's keep it moving. Okay, let's see. Um, now I'm trying not to get depressed. Now this is my man Mike. We used to ball back in the day. So like, yeah, like this. Yeah, I just I, yo one day I, I crossed the shit out of Mike one day in the in my backyard. Yeah, I shot the Mike. Yo. I know your ankle still hurting from that crossover. All right, let's see. All right, okay. Drinks on deck. I like that. Nice and classy. Okay. Now here's how your Facebook is gonna look. Now of course if you want to, you could do some split screen multitasking, so we can be on Facebook and Twitter at the same time. Exit out of that. Bong, just like that, or resize it. Boom, my man's beard be on point. You know what I'm saying? Beard gang, let's go. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so that's Facebook. Next, let's do a little TikTok. Now, of course, for TikTok, we gotta lower the volume. All right, cause there'd be a lot of copyright infringement going on. Okay, this is your TikTok. Okay, look at the Maya, look at the Maya, okay. Let's see, let's see what the Maya talking about. Okay, okay, Maya, you, you out there, okay. Oh, dancing, okay, okay. That's, I like to see that, though. I like to see it. Kids having fun. I like to see that. I love to see that. I right, live your life. And have a little fun. Okay, now we got the red beards. Okay. Now, I personally, I cannot grow a beard, so when I see the beard gang cats, I'd be a little jealous. You know, it is what it is. And I would like to be able to grow a beard and have a, a built-in disguise at any moment. Okay, only in the Bronx. Somebody got a TV where they playing um, NBA Live outside. <laughs> in the Bronx. Only in the Bronx, bro. Only in the Bronx. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, looks like about to be a, a fit change. Let's okay, okay, that, that was that was pretty good. Okay, let's see. Anything else we need to see here? More dancing. Okay. 
Anyway, okay, now this is what I like to see, food. <laughs> fat, fat alert. All right, my fat gland just activated. Okay. Okay. This is, okay. That's what I'm saying. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. This is a family show, but this is kind of, this is not bad. This is not bad. This is not bad. Okay, we got the Kevin Hart. Okay, anyway. Okay, this is a family show. Let me get out of here. Right, this is a family show. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, should we even take it to Instagram? Let's let, let's try Instagram. Let's try Instagram. Okay, let's see what's going down on the gram. Okay, let's 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 see what's up with tracks. Okay, now I got my birthday video coming. Shout out to tracks. All right, they really they really looked out for me this year for my birthday. So we're gonna have to give them a little video. Okay, now this is your Instagram. Okay, now you gotta follow Beef Alert if you want to see some uh, some good uh, comedy, <laughs> some current events and comedy. Okay, let's see what's going down. Gas is so high, the man man working from home. <laughs> yeah, gas prices are ridiculous, yo. It cost me about a hundred dollars to fill up my car. Ridiculous. Y'all see me the other day on that scooter. Okay, this is a family now. Y'all see me the other day on that scooter. That wasn't a game. I was really outside on the scooter. People thought I was just doing that to make that um <laughs> that three sixty video. I really be on the scooter now, bro. I gotta save some bread. Let's see. Okay, now I don't want to see any depressing news because I'm about to be like this for my birthday. All right, this is good. I'm gonna be chilling just like this. All right, me and that cat, we got the same birthday vibes right now. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is gonna look. Okay, okay. Not to let my Instagram be a little spicy. Okay, little new Jordans right here. Okay, okay, the blue ones. Okay. Anyway. All right, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. <laughs> okay, this is, okay. I'm, this, I'm sorry. This my Instagram is kind of spicy today. What what is today Friday? No, today's only Wednesday? Why so spicy on a Wednesday? Oh, little man is in the fish tank, bro. Bro. Now nah, he getting a beating. He need a beating for that one. Alright, anyway, I'm old school, man. He need a beating. Alright, anyway. So RDA activities, regular daily activities, this phone passes with flying colors. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the ZTE Axon 40 Ultra a major go. My biggest gripe would be the no wireless charge, okay? No wireless charge, that's not a deal breaker for me, but that's kind of a big deal. If you're into making vlogs and taking a lot of selfies, you're gonna want a better selfie camera. Okay, the phone is not water resistant. So if you live in that outdoor lifestyle, you don't want to get this too wet. And no IR blaster. Other than that, if the fire, now look, if you like this phone, I would say wait a little while because the price is definitely going to drop. The 30, I found the 30 right now online for 500 bucks. This is a win. If you get an Axon 30 Ultra for 500 bucks, you better jump on that. I actually have one right here. If y'all want to jump on it, I have mine even cheaper. But that's a good deal for 500 bucks. I would say if you like this phone, enter the giveaway. Try to win it for free if you don't win. All right. I would say wait a little bit because 800 bucks, that's too much. 750, eh, 700 bucks, perfect. 650, even better. Okay, even better. You'll be able to live without the wireless charge. A lot of people don't really use the front facing camera too much anyway. So you can kind of live with that. No IR blaster. Most phones don't have them these days. Not the biggest deal. Water resistance, throw a nice case on it, you know, out of box. Well, then again, these uh, ZTE phones, you're not really gonna find out of box cases, but you could go on eBay, you'll be able to find a water resistant case if you really just need that, that uh, little bit of extra security. But I would say on a scale of one to 10, this is definitely a major go. It's a heavy hitter, all right, it's a heavy hitter. Anyway, again, let me mention this one more time. Let me pull these out. All right, shout out to ZTE. And Xi Jinping, all right, for sponsoring this giveaway. We got three Axon 40 Ultras to give away. Now, let me reiterate myself. If you want to enter this contest, go to your YouTube, all right, enter this contest, follow all the rules, log out, log on from your troll account. I'm entering from all my troll accounts because if I win this, I'm selling this shit for $6.99 plus tax. That's $7.15, $11. All, right. <laughs> all jokes aside, though, enter the giveaway. Look, you know the old saying, it's just like the lotto. You gotta be in it to win it, okay? If you don't ask a question, the answer's always no. If you don't enter a giveaway, you'll never win. I know some of y'all right now like, oh, I never win giveaways. I actually won a giveaway online a long time ago. Look, you gotta be in it to win it, okay? So take a shot, it don't cost you nothing. You can win a free Axon 40. Anyway, Axon 40 Ultra, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus, 
Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see our holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and roll. It's your boy Flossy now. Deuces. Enterprise. Spock here. Spock won the beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.